Washington's top envoy to Seoul believes the Allies are united on their final objective of dismantling Pyongyang's nuclear weapons program. The ambassador laid out a positive evaluation of the current situation on the peninsula. Kim Mugen shares with us his remarks. South Korea and the U.S. are, quote, in lockstep of how they view the denuclearization of North Korea, and the leaders agree on the end state of it. That's what U.S. Ambassador to South Korea Harry Harris stressed while speaking at an event in California on Wednesday. He's been on a tour around several U.S. states with South Korea's ambassador to Washington, Cho yun jae Recalling the past few years before things began to thaw on the Korean peninsula, Harris pointed out that relations today have improved significantly. He said he could never imagine the leaders of North Korea and the U.S. meeting each other. While some have raised concerns on the Hanoi summit fallout, the U.S. envoy reaffirmed that President Trump opts not to rush on denuclearization. He stressed the Korean peninsula has been under an armistice status for decades, while peace talks only began last year. But at the same time, he remained upbeat about the progress made since the Singapore summit, saying things are moving at a rapid rate to transform Pyongyang-Washington relations. Seoul's ambassador to Washington, Cho yun jae added that though the U.S. and South Korea might have differing perspectives on North Korean issues, cooperation between the two sides has never been this strong. When asked to evaluate the Hanoi summit, Cho said that substantial progress was definitely made, adding that he is neither too optimistic nor pessimistic about the future. Kim Mo-gyan, Arirang News.